My brain hurts already. Those are the easy ones. Here we go. Let's get some numbers in here. <laughs> It's time for another round of too much information. I like it because it's challenging and I think it makes you like dig into a deep part of your brain. I did the Star Wars one. It did not go well. We're gonna show you a video with a lot of information. Some might say too much information about a specific topic. After the video ends, I will ask you 10 questions. You have to get all 10 correct in order to win. Can we do like one? So if you don't know the answer, you do get one bailout that you can use at any point. That bailout will be three multiple choice answers to choose from, one of which is the correct answer. Okay. All of today's information is about Harry Potter. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so if I already have some background knowledge in the subject, then maybe it'll help me? Do you think your Harry Potter knowledge will help you? Uh, no. If there's numbers, no. I've read the books like 14 times, and I've won the other Harry Potter challenges we did here, so when I fail, it's gonna be much more embarrassing. I've seen one. <laughs> I've never seen a single Harry Potter film or read a book. This is gonna be bad. I feel like this information I'll retain because I want to know this information. We're only going to play this video once, so be sure to pay close attention. Okay. The seven Harry Potter books contain 1,100,086 words in total. As of 2019, the Harry Potter books have been translated into 80 languages, including Welsh, Hawaiian, and Latin. Dumbledore is an old English word for bumblebee. <laughs> Rowling chose the name because she pictured the character humming. Based on a series synopsis and the first chapter, 12 different publishers turned down Harry Potter in Whoa. 1996. Originally, many characters had different last names, such as Draco Spinx, <laughs> Neville Sidebottom, <laughs> Hermione Puckle, or different first names, such as Madhari Patel and Matt. Okay, the I already forgot of half of this. Hallows, oh. The story of the Deathly Hallows is based on The Pardoner's Tale by Geoffrey Chaucer. There are 700 possible fouls in Quidditch. Jesus! All of them occurred during the 1473 mm. Quidditch World Cup game between Flanders and Transylvania. The final book in the series was almost called called Harry Potter and the Elder Wand, wow. Harry Potter and the Peveril Quest, but Rowling felt the title sounded too corny. Yeah, because Deathly Hollow the... isn't corny. <laughs> Rowling took the magical plant names from a book published in 1653 called Culpepper's Complete Herbal. In 1997, only 500 hard copies of the first edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone were published. These books sell for forty to $55,000 depending on condition. To keep Deathly Hallows from leaking early, Bloomsbury referred to it by code names, including Edinburgh Potmakers or oh. The Life and Times of Clara Rose Lovett, an epic novel covering many generations. Rowling's publisher suggested she use initials instead of her name, Joanne, since they feared boys would not read a book written by a woman. J.K. Rowling is the first person to become a billionaire in U.S. dollars by writing books. The only curse word ever said in the Harry Potter films is bitch. After Fred died, George was never able to perform a Patronus again. Dumbledore was 150 years old at the time of his death. According to Rowling's original plans for the books, Arthur Weasley and Ron Weasley were supposed to die. And <gasps> Arthur and Ron? And Lupin and Tonks were supposed to live. Hagrid is eight feet, six inches tall. All numbers. While filming, Daniel Radcliffe went through 160 pairs of glasses Whoa. and had his scar applied roughly 2,000 times. While many of the Harry Potter effects were computer generated, the Mandrakes, Monster Book of Monsters, and Aragog were all achieved practically. Oh my god, that was so hard. That was a lot of information. I don't remember anything already. <laughs> I got all of it, of course. Just put it into my brain. It's locked in there. All right, here we go. You ready for your questions? No, there were so many numbers. Uh, question one, Harry Potter. Question one, what is the only American curse word in the Harry Potter films? Bitch. <laughs> That's okay. Bitch. 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 That's correct. <laughs> That's funny. I like that one. <laughs> Why is that the first one? Why was I so excited about that? Question two, what is J.K. Rowling's first name? Joanne, final, final answer. answer. Yeah. It's correct! Awesome. Joanne, that I actually remember. Joanne. 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 <laughs> On fire! Suddenly my confidence is up a little bit higher until I just lose this completely. Those are the easy ones. Here we go. Let's get some numbers in here. <laughs> Question three. Which two dead characters were supposed to survive? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to use a bailout on that one. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna use my bailout. I don't know the names of the characters, so now I have to use the bailout. A, Lupin and Tonks, B, Tonks and Dumbledore, or C, Lupin and Fred? A, 
Loop and toss? Tonks, yeah. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. That's correct. Okay. I think A. Loop and tonks? I think. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> you did good. Crap. No, but now oh, I don't have it anymore. God, okay. I'm going to go with A. A, loop and tonks? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. That's correct. Oh, yes. Okay. Woo. Lupin and Tonks. Lupin and Tonks. Lupin and Tonks. Oh, um, Tonks and Lupin were supposed to live. Lupin and Tonks. Final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, also a bunch of them. A lot of people die. It's really violent. But yeah, those ones. That's correct. Yes. Question four. How tall is Hagrid? Oh my God. I always get my six and nines mixed up. I'm gonna go with eight, nine. Eight, nine? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. That is incorrect. No! Was it eight six? No! <laughs> I'm six one. Wait, is it six eight? Is it eight six? I'm gonna have to go with the um, the lifeline or whatever. A, eight foot four, B, eight foot six, or C, eight foot eight? B, eight foot six. Final answer? Yeah. That's correct. Yes! Okay. Nailed it. I switched them in my brain. He is eight foot six inches. Eight six. I think he was eight six. Eight foot six inches. I say he was like eight six. Eight feet six inches tall. Ooh, eight feet six inches. Final answer? Final answer. You sure? Yes. That's correct. Okay. All right, question five. In what language does Dumbledore mean Bumblebee? Oh God, I was more set on like remembering what those what that meant, but I don't, can I, maybe Latin? No. <laughs> That's incorrect. So we're just gonna have to guess here. Swedish, I don't know. <laughs> Swedish is my final answer. Oh, I knew it meant bumblebee. I wasn't listening to the language part. There's so many languages, I'm not even gonna be able to bullshit. I need a bailout. Oh, shoot. I'll ask for my uh, multiple choice. Oh, oh can, I, can I use my bailout? I need to use my bailout on this one. I don't remember at all. A, Scottish. B, British, or C, Old English? I'm gonna say British. You're gonna just say British? Just cause that's the first thing that jumped in my head. Final answer? Final answer. Are you sure? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. That is incorrect. I thought so. I think Scottish. Final answer? Well, I don't like that book you're doing, but yeah. Are you sure? Well, I hate this, but yeah. I'm so sorry, it is not correct. God, I was too all in on Scottish. I was so confident. If you go back old enough, it could be both. There are origins, it's all Latin. I don't want to play anymore. Well, luckily, you are out. It's Old English, it's Old English. Final answer? Yeah. That's correct. Hell yeah. Okay, we're still in the game. I'll do Old English. Final answer? Final answer. That's correct. Okay, awesome, okay, good. Old English. Question six. What spell was George never able to perform again? The Patronus! The Patronus spell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sad victory. <laughs> Here's the confession. I didn't finish the books past Order of the Phoenix, so I didn't have much context after Fred's death to what happened to George. So that makes me so sad that he couldn't do the Patronus spell afterwards. He can never do a Patronus again because his brother died. It actually is really sad. Question seven. What is Edinburgh Potmakers? Oh, wow. That was the one that had a lot of words on the screen. Is it a textbook from the Hogwarts? That is such a good guess, but no. <laughs> what is it? Okay, I'm gonna say it's a co-name for Deathly Hallows for the... Is that yeah. your final yeah, answer? Yeah, it's my final answer. Are is that sure? right? Yeah, yeah. hundred percent sure? That's yeah, final answer. Correct! Awesome! Okay, cool, okay. It is a code name that J.K. Rowling used for one of the books. That's correct! Yes! Okay. All right, question eight. How many words total are in the seven Harry Potter books? One million, one hundred thousand and eighty-six. 86, yeah. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. That's correct! Oh, yes! 1,100,086. One Question nine. What is the name of the book that J.K. Rowling took plant names from? Oh! Herb makers or the herbivores or the herb man or something with herbs. I don't know. What is it? Something with herbs, your final answer? Something with herbs. <laughs> that is incorrect. No! Uh, no! Okay. I know it dealt with herbology. The complete herbal. Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? No, but that's my final answer. That's correct. Oh my God. Okay, awesome. Oh, herbal at the end. Question 10. Which two teams played in the 1473 Quidditch World Cup? I'm going to guess. So I'm going to say Transylvania and Scotland. I can't think of another one. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Oh, what is it? What's the other one? Flanders. Ooh, I wouldn't have got it. All right, Danny, you did pretty well. Yeah. You still missed that last question, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm... Uh... 
do my best. But how are you feeling? This is way better this than This is way better than the last one. Like I said, it's because it's something I wanted to learn. I feel pretty proud of myself. I think I got a passing grade and that's how well I'm doing in college right now. It's way too much. The long names and it's just like so complex and it's like different languages and I don't know. Too many numbers. <laughs> there were random history questions about the books where it was like, it had this many letters and all of this different like random details that like, it doesn't have to do with the story, so I don't care. <laughs> Some of that could have just sounded like gibberish, but I know what's up, because I'm awful buff. And although if I was Ravenclaw, I probably would have gotten all the answers. Damn. Thanks for watching TMI on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every week. What topic do you want to see on TMI? Let us know down below. Hey fam, Reactors and Mary here. Thanks so much for watching our Too Much Information Harry Potter edition here on the React channel. Be sure to follow at FBE on Instagram to learn more about us, learn when we're doing auditions, and just hang out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!